Hey, and welcome to another episode of the Ice Cream for Everyone podcast. I'm your host for the show, Villain Van Horst. It's been a while since the last time I posted an update for the show and wanted to make sure you knew I haven't forgotten about it and I haven't forgotten about you either. Time flies and already several months have gone by. So what's been happening? Well, I moved away from London. That's the big thing and that's the main reason I haven't been posting. I've been traveling around the United States these past few months and I'm recording this from my new place in Chicago. For those who follow the podcast, you may remember I visited Chicago for the first time last summer to see friends and attend the podcast movement conference and really liked the city. After some time spent in Colorado and California, I'm back in Chicago. It was amazing. I really loved visiting Denver, visiting the mountains. I was lucky enough to go skiing in Vail and Beaver Creek in the Rockies. And from California, I decided to take the train, the Amtrak, the California Zephyr, all the way from San Francisco, Emeryville, to Chicago. Going through the Sierra Nevada, going through the high plateau of Utah, not far from Zion National, the Arches National Park, sorry, and uh, the Rockies. It was absolutely gorgeous, a memorable and absolutely gorgeous three-day-long train ride. This was the longest train ride I've ever been on, uh, but it was really gorgeous, and I highly recommend it, particularly the mountainous areas through California and Utah and Colorado. Now, now I'm settling in. Uh, I'm going to go back to recording and publishing, get back on a normal track, get back on a normal schedule. So I just really wanted to remind you and like that I'm still there. I'm working on it. I'm remembering you. And uh, and the other big thing I wanted to talk about was that I've had some feedback from a friend asking what the unifying theme or topic of this podcast is. And I thought it was a really great comment. And it's actually something I had been working on. I've been thinking about. I formulated that a few times over several episodes, but perhaps not like as elegantly as, as I'd have liked. So I thought I'd share with you where I'm at. Uh, and starting with, I came up with the name Ice Cream for Everyone for my blog about 10 years ago. And I thought it kept, made sense to keep the name. I, I still like the name. And to this day, people just really smile when I mention the name or when they see it on my business card. Not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago, in fact, I was at a business networking event and like just people seeing ice cream for everyone on the name tag that I had, just like people were smiling and coming at me and just really wanted to know what I do. So, uh, and simply, I used to love ice cream as a kid, just, just about, you know, like just about everyone. And I'm sure you love ice cream, or at least most people do, or most people used to at the very least. It puts a smile on people's faces, the idea of it. And, um... When I started working independently as a marketing and brand strategy consultant, helping businesses figure out how to communicate with their audiences, and then when I started this podcast as well, it made sense to use the same name. I mean, it's like working in branding. I have this overarching brand, and I love the name. People like the name. I use the same name. Now, in a nutshell, what is the podcast about? What's the elevator pitch, if you will? So ice cream comes in many exciting flavors. I find them exciting anyway. And I believe so does creativity. We use our existing knowledge, experiences, inspiration, intuition, flair, like whatever, everything that we use, we use to create and recombine and create newly again. And I find the process of what and how human beings create endlessly fascinating. In the Ice Cream for Everyone podcast, I have candid conversations with creative professionals to talk about their lives, explore where their ideas, creations, and designs come from, what inspires them, and how they shape that into the variety of activities and careers they take on. That's it. That's what the podcast is about. And naturally, the kinds of guests I invite to the show operate, work, in areas I'm interested in. And those I have on my radar, like things I read about, things I come across, so like design, advertising and marketing, gaming, uh, and not only that, like there's a few different areas that I come across, and I'm also equally happy to take recommendations from you, my audience. If you're listening to this right now, and you believe you know people or want to recommend people I should have on the show that you think will be making for a really interesting and rich conversations, please, I'd love to hear from you. So, uh, and equally, if you have questions, feedback, as I said, recommendations, or either other ideas for the show, don't hesitate keeping in contact. You can find me directly on the website and you can find all the different episodes and where you can find also the Ice Cream Sunday weekly newsletter, which I still send out every week. So even if you don't listen to the podcast, please subscribe to the newsletter. You can find all of that on my website. That's at www.icecreamforeveryone.net. I'll repeat. It's all spelled out, by the way. 
www.icecreamforeveryone.net. You can also send me an email directly. That's at villem, W-I-L-L-E-M, at icecreamforeveryone.net, all spelled out. You can, if you can take two minutes, it would be amazing if you write a review on iTunes or on your iPhone podcasting app that goes directly into iTunes. And it makes a huge difference to just, number one, my motivation when I receive feedback. It's really great to know that people are listening to and appreciate the show. It allows also more people to discover the show. The more ratings and reviews I get on iTunes, the more it might come up on somebody else's suggestions when they're looking for a new show to listen to. You can also use Twitter. Tweet at me at icvillum, I-C for ice cream, for example, Villem, W-I-L-L-E-M, all attached. Recently changed my handle from Hippo Will. I thought it'd be like a little bit, well, it's one character less. That's one thing. And uh, and I thought it'd be like a little bit more ice cream villain or something like that. It's also not easy to find handles or new handles or different handles on Twitter. Anyhow, uh, you can also post on my Ice Cream for Everyone Facebook page. If you just type in Ice Cream for Everyone, you should find my page. And you can write a message in Ice Cream, Wish Upon a Sprinkle to send me a magic message over. Uh, see if that works. If that doesn't, if that doesn't work, just visit the website like everybody else does. Now that's about it for this update. Really, just watch out for more coming soon. I'm going to be recording conversations. I'm getting in touch with a number of different people, waiting to hear back. Schedule that in, and that's about it for now. Thank you very much for listening. Have a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you. Bye. <music>